Hi there, Mayor, Council members, members of the public. My name is Tatiana Arnaud. I'm your city engineer. And I'm here to present to you the award for Agreement A-8354 to Toro Enterprises Incorporated for the La Colonia Green Alleys Improvement Project, PW18-63. So the recommendation is that the City Council first approve and authorize the Mayor to execute Agreement A-8354 with Toro Enterprises Incorporated in the amount of $1,472,882.50 for the La Colonia Green Alley's Improvement Project specification number PW18-63, project number 183104. And second, approve $147,288 for project contingency for La Colonia Green Alley's Improvement Project. Number three, approve another $147,288 for engineering inspection survey and project management for the La Colonia Green Alley's Improvement Project. And finally, number four, to approve a budget appropriation transfer of $873,216 from the Street Maintenance Operations General Fund 101 budget to the General Fund Capital Outlay Fund 301 budget for these improvement projects. So here's a map showing the project area for, for this project. So what you'll notice is that uh, there's a, an alley that runs parallel to Cooper Road. Uh, which we'll be making major improvements along. And then we also have a couple that run down um, the alley between Garfield and Roosevelt, as well as some improvements on Roosevelt uh, Avenue itself. And again, this is all within the La Colonia neighborhood. Uh, this is a grant funded project and it's been, uh, it was started back in 2018. And so we're now finally at the stage where we're ready to actually, uh, you know, put the design uh, behind us and get into the construction phase. So the purpose of this is to provide alley and intersection improvements to enhance the pedestrian and bicycle mobility throughout the La Colonia neighborhood. This work does include the reconstruction of six existing alley and street intersections, which were uh, depicted in the last slide, installing new traffic striping, flexible delineators, and lights within the alleys for pedestrian and cyc cyclist safety, uh, reconstruction of approximately 5,000 square feet of sidewalk, and in addition to that, we're adding storm drains, catch basins, and bioretention areas to help improve the uh, the ponding that we do notice uh, along those areas in the Colonia neighborhood. So here's actually a pretty cool before and uh, conceptual after image. So what you see on the left-hand side is the La Colonia uh, boxing gym in its current state. And on the right here, there's a rendering of what it will look like once we're done with these improvements. So what you'll notice is that there's actually a little running track for, for you know the kids or train people uh, for training purposes, things like that. There'll be some planters with seating area around them and some uh, trees and, and other plants in there to kind of just provide uh, a space for people to be able to sit down and gather and talk and, and, and whatnot. So we're trying to activate this space here next to the Lacolina Boxing Gym. Uh, we thought it would be a good opportunity considering all the youth programs and other programs that do occur there um, uh, already, right? So this is just to enhance the space around it. Here's another, uh, you know, image of what it looks like today versus what it'll look like in the future. Uh, what you'll see is there's going to be a four foot pedestrian zone, then a foot and a half buffer, and we're going to put in those delineators, those flexible delineators in there to provide a barrier between the vehicles and the pedestrians through these alleyways. So that's going to hopefully help promote walkability and cyclability within La Colonia neighborhood, especially when, you know, we're providing this added, added protection that isn't there today. Uh, in addition to that, these alleys will turn into one-way alleys for the vehicles. Again, this will provide an additional layer of safety for our pedestrians. Uh, and not to mention, we will be uh, putting in crosswalks uh, at many of these locations with uh, planted bulb outs uh, and things of that nature to shorten the distance that the pedestrian has to walk across the street and thus enhancing the safety. So there's a few things that you'll expect during construction. Um, it's similar to when we do our street resurfacing projects, you'll see some uh, at least well, a lot of um, demolition of sidewalks so that we can put in new ADA compliant sidewalks in there. 
uh, some level of asphalt and then of course our crosswalks when we're getting those painted on and whatnot. So these are the kind of things you're going to expect. I do want to note that this work will be happening uh, simultaneously while the cast iron pipe work that's already underway is happening there, but we will be coordinating that with the two different contractors so that we still are able to provide the residents in that area with the way to get to their homes and um, and whatnot. So assignment will be provided for this project just like with any other project noting you know no parking areas and and when the work will be happening in certain areas and whatnot so this notice inviting formal bids for the project was published uh in late may with bids due mid-june of this year we received two bids and uh, toro enterprises was a low bid at 1.47 million dollars and they were uh, the lowest responsive bidder for this project so again, the total project uh, cost is $1.77 million. 1.47 of that goes to the contract with Toro Enterprises with a project contingency of 150,000 and another 150,000 for the engineering inspection survey and project management portion of this project. Uh, so currently there's about 1.8 million available to this project, and that'll be 50,000 from the air pollution buy down fee, which can be used for a PED and bicycle projects. Another 844,000 from uh, grants that were obtained here back in 2018, and then another 873 from our capital outlay, outlay funds that is intended for alleyway work. That does conclude this presentation. Thank you for listening, and I'm happy to take any questions.